So right now we're in the local area in Kuala Lumpur that you guys recommended to us. It's Kampung Baru. Apparently there's loads of Malaysian food here, so we can't wait to explore. By the way, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp, but we'll get to that in a bit. First of all, let's see if we can find some local food. Are you hungry? I'm so hungry. So far, it seems like the restaurants in here are closed at the moment. I'm assuming that they open up later on. I'm pretty sure we'll find something. I mean, we are in Kuala Lumpur. If we can't find food, I will be very, 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 very shocked. That, imagine not finding food in Kuala Lumpur. Hmm. <laughs> it is crazy when you see like all of these big buildings, the skyline, you know, the metropolitan area, and then you see these local buildings right here. It really feels like proper like Malaysian vibe. Just like you guys said, you know, that's where all the Malaysian people live. Hello. Hello. Everyone seems pretty friendly in here, all the locals. I feel like since we had that nasi lemak first thing in the morning, we're now hungry every single morning because usually we're not like morning people and we don't eat in the mornings, but now I'm absolutely starving. Yeah, it kind of woke up our stomachs. I love these wooden houses everywhere. Do you see them? Yeah, really beautiful. Let's get lost in Kampung Baru, baby. Yeah. Can't wait to find a restaurant. We're just gonna get a little bit of street food. And some of you guys suggested to try this like Malaysian, I think it's fish. Yes, fish. Yeah, yeah. fish. Can I have two? Uh, Okay. Thank you. Oh, you got three for a price of two. Boom. Doesn't smell like fish. Mmm. Really good. What is it like? It just has a little bit of fish aftertaste. Nothing too crazy. Mmm. Amazing. What do you think? Mmm. Tastes like a breadstick. Yeah. But kind of like softer. Coffee I was imagining the flavor is gonna be really intense, but it's actually pretty nice and soft. Yeah. It's not really fishy at all, it just tastes like a tiny bit of fish yeah. sauce or something in there. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Yum. It's like Malaysian fish fingers. Thumbs up. Starting to see more and more local restaurants that are open and they are literally full of people. I'm assuming that's really good. That's why it's so full. They have like all kinds of fish, chicken curries. Wow, that looks epic. What do you think, Olivia? I don't it's think there's really much good. room to sit down though. It looks no. very full. Seems like traffic is insane here so far. There's like a yeah. couple of guys like trying to organize the traffic. It's really busy. It just got super busy. I think everybody wants to go for lunch around yeah. here. There's gotta be a reason why everyone's going there. It looks pretty good. I feel like we're gonna have to come back here for sure. It really feels like the locals don't like to walk here because obviously you guys said because it's very hot. So the pedestrians, as you can see, are a little bit overgrown. It's gonna have to duck a little bit like this <laughs> which I don't mind <laughs> it's covered in oh. loads of stuff I absolutely love the people's houses like they're all so different like this one with a beautiful skyline of a big city just living here and it feels like you're in a village but you're actually in the city center of the capital of Malaysia this area is so picturesque it's like this contrast between old and new everywhere you look and we just can't stop stopping to just take it all in and we can't believe that this is only three train stops away from Chinatown where we stay which is just a completely different world. What did you see there, Olivia? There's a van right here that says fresh send all drink. You guys told us to try it, so we're gonna do that right now. There's loads of different types, so I'm not sure. Getting an original send all and a special one for you, Olivia, because you're special. Thank you. It's like some sort of milk. It's like coconut milk. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna eat it. Coconut. coconut. Okay. Coconut. What is send all? Is it a fruit or coconut? Coconut, coconut. is send all. Oh, okay. Okay. First time in Malaysia. Classic. Don't know what's going on. Like this? All right, and it's present to color. Thank, Thank you so much. So this is the special sandal, and it has the green, which I think is in the original as well. But it also has like I think it looks something red and something yellow, like yeah. two different. Fruits. It looks like corn in there, to be honest. Corn and some other veg uh, vegetable or like fruit. Like a bean or something. Yeah, right. Give it a, a go. See what it's actually like. You stir it up. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you just drink and I have no idea. The yeah, give it a go. See. I'm excited. Oh wow. There's so much flavor already in just one sip. Is that like a good thing or be honest? It's not that bad. I think there's bean in there. Okay. Milky. But there's also something kind of salty as well. Mm. It's not really sweet at all. Do you like it? Mm. I just got something sweet. I think I got the coconut. You know what? It's pretty good actually. Turn a little bit like this and see what it's actually like. Original. Mm, really rich, coconutty, Rel relatively sweet. Uh, 
tastes like a dessert. Mm. Mm, really Try mine. Dessert. I think it's savory more. Right. It's like sweet and savory. I think you have different levels. If you put your straw all the way down, it stays sweet. You go a bit up. It tastes a bit like savory, like you said. And then the very top. Yeah, it's three different flavors. There we go. So we don't have like sugar at the bottom or anything like that. So we're gonna stir it properly. And now. Ooh. Wow. Actually, this one I prefer it more. More flavor, one. yeah? And there's more stuff like rice and beans and stuff like that. Corn. I prefer this one. It's like a little lunch. Yeah. I absolutely love it. I prefer this one. Wanna swap? Really? Yeah. Okay. If you prefer it. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> By the way, a local who was just sat next to us explained us that it's actually a Malaysian dessert and it's called chandol and not sandal. So sorry guys, it's chandol. <laughs> now we know. Thanks, man. I feel like this road behind us has quite a few restaurants in there. Maybe we'll find something good. It seems very local. This is a little boat. Boat building. That's so cool. <laughs> so smart the way they made it. The whole thing is a boat. Think it used to be a boat? Probably not, right? It looks like it's made out of concrete I can smell something very very good and I think it's coming from right over there and there's a lot of people there's a lot of people I don't see if any room for us to sit down and make a whole video I just feel like we might be in a way but damn that looks so good it smells so good yeah mm. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of restaurants here right it's gotta be let's go that way over there what is this fish wow. you wanna try you could try one Why go not? for it if you want yeah how, how much Wondering it. Amazing. Yeah, Sina just open it like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, right? It's a banana wrap, a mystery wrap. Ooh, That's interesting. fish? I think it's like a fish paste or something. Give it a try. It smells Come pretty on. fishy. Yeah. I'll give it a little, well, give it a big bite. That was a tiny one. What's it, what's it like? Wow. It smells like something I would never this, plan it on sm eating. It smells like sardines. But it tastes pretty different to what it smells like mm. I don't even know what that tastes like Mario you gotta try that let's try it mmm it's not a very strong flavor it smells stronger than it tastes right yeah I feel this is sardines from the can might not be from the can but it's something similar to that mmm kind of tomatoey I think mm. as well one ring it not bad a little snack I mean, it is pretty fishy, but it's not like crazy flavor. I quite like it. Although, to be honest, I feel like my breath really stinks right now, though. <laughs> After that. It kicks in a little bit. Whoa. It's Feels quite, like... it's not too spicy. I actually prefer it to be more spicy, but the fish, wow. It's Feels pretty like fishy. You eat loads of garlic and it lingers in your mouth. It's like that, but fish. This is the main. You want to try? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Amazing looking chicken local food. Yeah. What do you have? Chicken rice. Chicken okay. And rice. Uh, can chicken I? Rice. We just have rice and then choose from here. I like to try the fish. Yeah. It looks fish amazing. Fish, fish, okay. Sambal ikan. Sambal ikan. Sambal ikan. Okay. White rice. Hey, white rice, yes, please. Where from? Uh, Lithuania. Lithuania. England. England. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this, this is tempeh, isn't it? I miss it? tempeh. The last time we had tempeh was like three years ago in Indonesia. Can't wait to have it again. Yes. Yes. What do you have? What do you recommend? Fruit. Fruit? Okay. Dondong asam boy. Dondong. Dong. Dondong. Dolong. You know? What no. is it? Uh, the uh, masam, masam, masam. Masam. Uh, not sure. No. Never. We try. We try. Uh, try, yeah? Yeah. Press yeah. orange, one. Press yeah. orange. Okay. One, this one, Tembukai. like this. One, one. One, one. Yeah. Press orange. Satu, yeah. dondong, Fresh satu. orange, okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Tempe is Indonesia, yeah. Okay. What's this? Why you didn't go? Less sugar, good? No sugar. No sugar. No sugar. No sugar. No sugar. Thank, you. Thank you. We can't wait to dig into this food. But before we do that, we're going to quickly talk about our sponsor for this video, which is BetterHelp. 
BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. You can talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your own convenience. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. All you need to do is just fill out a questionnaire that helps assess your specific needs and then you'll get matched with the therapist in just under 48 hours. Then you can schedule secure video and phone sessions, exchange unlimited messages with your therapist, and everything you share is completely confidential. And if you think you've been paired with a therapist that you're not quite happy with, there's no need to worry because you can request a new therapist at any time with no additional charge. Why not join the two million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist? You can get 10% off your first month using the link in the description below. Ooh, okay. Orange juice and... Um, I'm not sure, maybe sugar cane? Oh! What is it? Mm, I love it! Wow, this is so good! I, I'm not... I, I think it's like <laughs> un unripe plum. We used to eat this... Uh, like the, the flavor tastes like the unripe plums that we used to eat as a kids before even they ripe. Because we didn't have internet back then and there was nothing to do. Yeah, because I'm 30 plus. So, this tastes kind of lighter. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's... Very zesty, amazing. Oh my days, this is nostalgic as hell. Honestly. Wow. Right? Yeah, it tastes like peach or plum or something. But unripe. But unripe, but like yeah. in, a, in the best way possible. I know, right? So refreshing. I want to know what the name of this is. I can't remember what she said, but this is freaking amazing. You can actually see some fruit. This time I'm gonna go proper local because fish is supposed to eat with hands anywhere in the world anyways. I can't imagine eating fish with like cutlery. So anyways, look at this fish, it looks beautiful. Break off the head. Straight for the meat. Look at that. Mm. I'm just having some fish. Spicy? No. Mm. This is a lot of chili on there. Just on. I'm literally annihilating my fish in the local way, just with my hands. Mm. That's so good. There's some... Thing. Yeah, there you go. That's the real meat there. What do you think? It's not too spicy, right? It's nice. I missed a bit of fish. Mm. It's really good. So what do you have there? Some chicken. Some chicken flavored rice. We've got two sauces here. Egg. Apparently it's spicy and some tempeh. Tempe. I'm not sure what the name of this is in Malaysia, but it looks amazing. Mm. What do I do first? Should I wanted I you to try that spicy egg to see if it's that spicy. Okay. And to see how spicy. Let's go. Mm. It's a lot to Okay. It's a tiny bit of like chili paste. What about the dampe? Probably eat this with your hands, right? Like, what am I doing? I think we've got like crispy onion in there as well, and a couple of chilies, so it might be spicy. Okay. Ooh. I think it's anchovies. Oh, your favorite. <laughs> if you guys remember the video where we tried nasi lemak, you know how much Olivia love anchovies. But I mean, she has to study the anchovies a bit more. We are in Malaysia, right? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get used to it, guys. Hiya! It's just, it's just part of Malaysian cuisine. <laughs> kind of tastes like nuts or crisps. This like a little snack. I just wish we had a beer to go with it. That would be good. I never thought it would be me ordering all of this. I never usually eat more than Mario. He's probably gonna have to help me finish all of this. Mm, I don't know. I saw your eyes were just hungrier than your belly. <laughs> Pretty much. Because <laughs> it all, all looks right. so good. Uh, let's get some chicken. Looks really crispy and barbecue. Dip into that spicy sauce. Go for it. Sambar is usually way darker. Mm -hmm. mm. It's just like a chili. Okay. A light chili dip. Really nice. What do you think it is? Soy? Soy, yeah. No? What is it? Um, it's 
so light, I can barely tell. It's kind of sweet. Maybe it's like a sweet Chinese style sauce. Or maybe we tried this in Indonesia before. Done. Tell me what that is. Teriyaki? Yeah, something like that, but something like that. The main maybe thing not quite teriyaki. Although the main thing I want to try is <laughs> that chili sauce. A lot of it. Not too spicy at all. You could probably drink it. Cheers. Oh my god. Mm. Lovely. Grab a little handful. Yes, and juice. And see. And you got a chili in there. Yeah, the few chilies as well. Mmm. Prop up tempeh. Indonesian tempeh. It's amazing. And the last thing we haven't tried yet is the broth. I'm assuming it's fish soup. We'll see. Mm, it's so good. I'm not even selling this for the video, guys. So rich. It's so non, not too salty or anything like that. Probably you've seen a lot of videos that we've done before where I absolutely love the broth. And every time I judge this, you buy the broth. And this is just broth on its own. Is it vegetable or meat or fish? Mm. I think it's like vegetable with like maybe chicken i'm not entirely sure but it's like very delightful flavor mm. <laughs> thank you it's good to know a couple of local words. Why not, hey? How much is it all together, Mario? Like Thirty-one. Six dollars, but we had yeah, a feast. Six dollars for two big drinks and a lot of food. We couldn't even finish everything because it was too much. We just because our eyes were a bit too hungry than the hungry than the bellies, basically. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uncle D, you gotta love the names here. Uncle D. Great spot for some food in Kampong Baru and while we were in there it started raining and it stopped raining. And yeah, perfect, now spot on. Again. Keeps doing that, raining at the perfect time. By the way, in this area there's one Joe restaurant which a lot of you guys told us to visit. Um, it's just that we had nasi lemak not that long ago and we might go back to Wanjo and try the nasi lemak and even compare it to the other nasi lemak that we had in Tanglin. But at the moment we're full and we just want to try something different. So full. I love it how here a lot of things close down and then a lot of things open up they just kind of swap places the food never stops you know funny how at the beginning of the vlog we were like oh are we gonna find any food <laughs> how are you feeling now i'm struggling to walk <laughs> we just walked past this building and mario's like i swear we've seen this before and i think we did walk here earlier because i'm having deja vu i think if we turn left over there yeah that's where we came from at the beginning I think so yeah <laughs> we kind of did a big circle around I'm, the area i'm sure that's not the case though no we didn't no, we no, did no, look. We There's the washing laundromat there. I don't think so. I think so. I think the houses are pretty similar, and we just tripping out because I remember the pedestrians were different. The man said hello to us here. Remember? Ah. Ah. Mm. <laughs> we're just gonna go with the stairs up, but to be honest, guys, we just ate so much food. So yeah, good yeah. thing we're in KL and everything is like high tech, so we don't have to climb the stairs. Get the lift instead. Boom. A little sleeping cat. He probably. He's waiting for the lift. Yeah, it looks like he had a big lunch as well. Yeah. Maybe he had a nasi lemak. Nasi meow meak. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boom. Now this is a very famous bridge apparently. It lights up at night. This is our first time on it. We might need to come back here at night time. But overall it looks really cool. The whole skyline and everything. Absolutely love it. And it starts raining again because every single day around 4 p.m. It just rains here. The cool thing is you can predict it. You can actually plan up your day and you know what time is going to rain. We knew it's going to rain around this time and it is. And Ooh. here's the bridge. This is pretty cool. I think this links all the way to the Petronas Tower, yeah? Yeah, I think so. It goes like straight to the metropolitan area. I like the design. Kind of makes you feel a bit like London or something like that. Yeah. 
it's exactly like that. You can see all of the city from here as well, like 360 views. It's really beautiful. What a view to walk out onto, look at that. Boom. Since it's raining, I don't want to go in the rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You? unfortunately we brought like cameras with us and all that, so I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah. Overall, what do you think of the area? I quite liked it. It was really yeah. nice to walk around, a bit different from the usual city life, the yeah. busyness. Where are we staying? We're staying in like Chinatown and it's like relatively touristy, you know, and coming to like seeing how actually Malaysian people live was pretty nice little experience. Yeah, and there was loads of food everywhere. I'm not sure if there's more food in the mornings or the evenings because there was a few stalls that were closed. But yeah, let us know in the comments below what is actually the best time to go there. And we'll see you next time.